Hi guys, welcome back to the part two of the VLOOKUP function. In this part, in part one we looked up the levels of the employees in the, this table, the base salary lookup table, and we returned the base salary of that employee. So for example, for this employee, he's level A, so his salary was 10,000, and that's what we got here. Now we're moving on in this video to the other way of using the VLOOKUP function, which is to find approximate matches, which is necessary when you're looking up numbers. And your lookup table, as we have here, doesn't have every distinct dollar amount uh, uh, corresponding to each commission, but rather has things in buckets. Now let me explain this commission table here. Anyone making sales between zero and $999.99 will get a commission amount of 1%. In other words, they will fall into the first bucket. Anyone making $1,000 and $2,099.99 will be earning 3% commission. Anyone earning 3000 to 4099 will begin 5% and anyone earning more than 5000 or more will be earning 7%. Okay? So these are our buckets. So our buckets are 0 to 999 and the top of this for each bucket is indicated by the bottom of the next bucket. 1000 to 2099 3,000 to 4,099 and 5,000 and up. Okay? So let's go over here. Here is our sales. This is what the commission is going to be based off. So we go into the commission rate column where we're going to get the commission rate for each employee and we type v equals V lookup. Looky up. <laughs> VLOOKUP. The first argument is what do we want to look up? Well, that's that individual sales, comma, where do we want to look it up? Naturally, that's this lookup table. So we highlight the entire table and we hit F4 to make that table an absolute reference so that we can drag this formula down later and the table won't move, comma. When I find this commission amount, what do you want? Well, I want the commission rate. And since there, this is column 1 and this is column 2, I, type, I want column 2, so I just type 2, comma. This time, unlike last time, we're going to type true because we're dealing with numbers. And numbers, we do not have a table with every single number spelled out from $0 all the way to ten thousand dollars and every increment in between we have things placed in buckets down here which is what we explained earlier whereas when you're dealing with text everything is clear and you want an exact match here you're dealing with numbers that don't always fall in it fall exactly on the boundaries you have numbers that are always in between most of the time in between these boundaries so we type true in these cases and we hit enter and we check so basically what has happened here is the formula that we wrote here, looked over here, took this number, went down to this table, found where this 5,000 falls in, and that happens to be right on the lower boundary of the last bucket, finds the 5,000, goes over to the commission rate, gets 7%, and then returns that number back here. Okay? So it's this circle. Okay? Now let's drag this down and see how this works. 650. Well, 650 falls in this bucket because it's less than 1000, right? It's zero, it's between 0 and 9.99 and 99 cents. So appropriately, it gets 1%. 850 again falls in the first bucket. 
9.99, again, it's the top of the first bucket's boundary. So it still gets all these got 1%. 3,000 falls exactly in the lower boundary of the third bucket, which is 5%. 2,500 falls between these two, so it is on in this bucket, which is 1,000 to 2,999. So we got 3%. 1,000 falls again on the boundary, so it's going to get 3%. 4,099 is just before 5,000, so it actually falls into this bucket. So we get 5%, right? And finally, 2,999 falls in this bucket because it's just before this bucket. So it's 1,000 to 2,999, so appropriately we get 3%. Okay, so this one's a little bit different than the text lookup that we did here using VLOOKUP with the false statement. Here we're using VLOOKUP with the true statement because what we're looking up is not an exact, not going to get us an exact match, but it's going to get us an approximate match based on buckets. Okay, and you got to set up your buckets with the bottom boundaries for each bucket. Okay, so once we get our commission rate, now finally, in an act of defiance, we can get our commission amount by multiplying our sales by our commission rate. And we get $350 for the first guy all the way down to almost $90 for the last guy. And by the way, you could go back into this and do this all in one step by going to the end of the VLOOKUP function after you've confirmed that it's worked properly and multiply that commission rate by 5,000 and you'll get once we switch this from percentage formatting to currency formatting you get the same amount and we don't need this column anymore okay so you can see, you see how we did it in two steps. We got the commission rate, and then once we saw that that formula was working properly, we, we went in the end of that VLOOKUP function after the parentheses, and we did multiply by the sales amount to get the actual commission amount and not just the rate. And so we can rename this column commission amount, and we've done it in one step instead of two. So I hope this was helpful. Be sure to check out my other Excel, Access, PowerPoint, Math, Statistics, and other computer tricks tutorial videos on my channel, Jalayer Academy. Subscribe while you're there, comment, and be sure to click on our sponsors' ads that pop up on our videos. That's what keeps these videos coming to you for free. Till next time, be sure to check out the other VLOOKUP videos if you missed the VLOOKUP with the false statement as your last argument and you'll see the difference and I think that learning both together will actually help to clarify each individually. So till next time, have a great day, thanks for watching.